the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus had crossed in the boat to the other side, a great crowd gathered around him, and he was by the sea. Then one of the synagogue leaders named Jairus, and when he saw Jesus, fell at his feet and begged him repeatedly, my daughter, my little daughter, is at point of death. Come lay your hands on her so that she may be well and live. So then Jesus went in with him, and a large crowd had followed him and pressed in on him. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from a hemorrhage for 12 years. She had endured much under many physicians. She had, all, she, she had spent all that she had, and she was no better, rather grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. For she said, if I touch his cloak, I will be made well. Immediately her hemorrhaging stopped and she felt in her body that she was healed for, of her disease. Immediately, aware of the power had gone forth from him, Jesus turned around the crowd, the, in the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples said to him, you see the crowd pressing in on you. Now how, how he can say, who touched me? He looked all around to see who had done it. But the woman knowing Though it had happened to her, came in fear and trembling and fell down before him, and she told him the truth. Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. While Jesus was still speaking, some of the people came up to, from the, the leader's house to say, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But, over, but overhearing what they had said, Jesus said to the leader of the synagogue, do not fear, only believe. Jesus allowed no one to follow him. And when he came to the house of the leader in the synagogue, he saw the commotion, the people weeping and wailing. And then he entered it and he said, why do you make a commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed, laughed at him. Then Jesus pulled them all outside and took the child, child's father and mother and those who were with him. They went in to where the child was. He took her by the hand and said, Talitha come, which means, little girl, get up. And immediately the girl got up and began to walk about, for she was 12 years of age. At this, they were overwhelmed with amazement and strictly to order them that no one should know about this. And he told her, told them to give her something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. In our first reading, we repeat. God did not make death, and he does not delight in the death of the living. For he created all things so that they may, might exist. But through the devil's envy, death entered the world, and those who belong to his company experience it. Death is not acceptable in my in so much of modern culture. Yet death comes in so many ways to all of us. The only death that we need to fear is the death of our souls. God created us to live, but death has come into the world, physical death. Everyone seems to want to fight against the physical death. For us who follow Jesus Christ, physical death is the gateway, gateway to eternal life, living with the Lord Jesus forever. 
The first reading today from the Book of Wisdom, even in this book from the Old Testament we hear, God for a man to be incorrupt. God wants us to live in eternity, forever and ever in eternity. Yet when death comes into our world, the Old Testament knows already that death is not the final answer to our human experience. Death is only final for those who belong to the company of the devil. The second reading from Corinthians, say, uh, in, from the second letter to the Corinthians, St. Paul is encouraging the Corinthians to share what money they have with those who have less. This is another form of dying, dying to oneself, recognizing that we can share what we have even if we don't have too much. In modern, in modern culture today, the emphasis on getting as much for oneself as possible. That, this is another expression of the fear of death. We have a fear of not having all that we want. The important thing to recognize is very often that we want and what we need are very different. We have to learn to die to ourselves in order to recognize this difference. We are not invited to live. We are not invited to look at how others live, but at how ourselves live. We are invited to see that what we have, we could give away to help others who have less. St. Augustine already said already in early Christian centuries, that Christianity, we should strive to have less so that others can have more. The gospel from St. Mark today returns to the, the, some, the theme of physical death, but in two forms. The woman with amateurs would have been cut off of normal society for all of the 12 years she had suffering from the amateurs. Yet, she felt somehow that if she had only touched the Lord Jesus she could be healed and return to life. The daughter of the synagogue officials really dies, and those around her said a message for her father, don't bother Jesus. And Seth said Jesus knows what is happening and what goes to the home and brings the girl, girl, young girl back to life in spite of everybody doubting that it can be happen. Our challenge today, our challenge is simple questions. Am I alive in Christ? Am I willing to share what I have with those who have less? Can I really believe that Jesus is the whole meaning of our life?